Always. Hey, Nicola, good to see you. Um, how was your off season? Uh, any off season highlights? It was short. Uh, probably the highlight is uh, we have a baby coming, so that's probably the the the, the highlight of the of my season and hopefully my life, you know. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it was really short. Uh, the good, the second good thing is uh, my horses won um, 15 to 20 races this year, so uh, they're they're doing a good job. Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. Uh, well, Nicola, congratulations. First of all, do you know if it's going to be a boy or a girl? Let's just fill, just fill us all in. Do you have a name? All, all the stuff. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a baby coming, so that's the only thing I can give you guys. And the name, we don't have it. Me and Natalia are fighting over it. Jacob Toby, Nine News. Hey, Nicola, congrats. Congrats on everything. Um, it seems like you're in really good shape so far uh, from the pictures and video. No, you don't think so? Why not? What? You don't think so? Why not? Because that's how I feel, brother. <laughs> um, just how much work did you put in put in this offseason, though, uh, to get ready to you know try and repeat what you guys did last year and go further and all that stuff? Uh, I mean, then, uh, I stopped a little bit for I think two weeks, and I was in a in a in a wait room every every day since uh, that's too. Like I'm I'm taking Sunday, sat, uh, Saturday and Sunday off. Uh, sometimes Saturday, Sunday off. So uh, I was doing I was doing what I did uh, the last six years. So uh, you know, I'm doing I'm doing. I I found the recipe and I'm just sticking to it. You know, so. It, it was nothing different than the last year. Uh, so hopefully it's going to be as good as last year. Mark Kisla, Denver Post. Congratulations. Um, is being a dad something you've always wanted to be or was this uh, your wife's idea? Uh, I don't know. We will see. You know, uh, but whoever I talk to, they say it's, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. Uh, to them, uh, actually, my brother had a kid uh, last year, so we have a little, little guy running around. Uh, so we're kind of familiar with the, the with the baby in the some little bit in the baby in the house. So we're gonna try to figure it out. Vinny Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey Nicole, in the past few years, there's been a lot of talk about you know how much how much you're resting, how much you're playing, and Coming into this season, there's been talk from last season about it. Is there have, have there been any more conversations? Do you have a plan on which nights you'll play and which ones you might take off? No, I really trust in the, in the medical staff and, and in my trainers and, and uh, uh, conditioning uh, Philip and Klaus. You know, so I'm gonna do. I think it's a smart thing to do, uh, especially you see last year how many players get injured and how many players uh, miss miss the games. A bit of a prior to injury, so uh, I would have had to miss the game uh, than being injured. So we will see. Hey, Travis, I'm doing a job here, see. So I would rather maybe sit one night than being injured. So if, if that can help me, you know. So I really trust my, my, my medical staff and, uh, and uh, the whole organization. So we will, I think they will, they will find the, the best solution for that. Alexander Zikic. Nikola, zdravo, čestitam evo upravo smo čuli da postoje štate, kako teku pripreme, da li možeš reći još tu neke detalje. I drugo, ono, što je trebno manje važno, je vratno sezona, kako se spremaš za sezonu, što očekuješ. Što se tiče toga oko BB, to je, eto, neka, neka... Verovatno, verovatno, pričujući sa drugim ljudima, najlepša svaša može da se desi čoveku. Tako da, eto, vidjet ćemo treba da se desi, ne znam, nijak kada, ali uskoro. A što se tiče sezone, isto tako trenirao sam, isto kao što sam ranije trenirao, tako ćemo vidjeti 
kako će da bude, kako će da bude ovaj, u, 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 u sezoni. Nema stvar mišljenja, posam da kažem sve, sve ubičajno. UNG, Altitude Sports. Hey, Nicola, congratulations. Great to see you. Some of the first videos and pictures that kind of surfaced the internet once you got back to Sambor were you with your horses and riding again. What is it about being around the horses and riding that is so soothing to you? That's the first thing you want to do once you get back to Serbia. Just, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of... Um, It's it's what it's what I want to do. It's what I want. Uh, since I started love, falling in love with the, with the horses, it put me in some other dimension and uh, uh, makes me feel really not relaxed. It just uh, it feels really good uh, because you can feel some connection and uh, there is not much people around. Um, and you can just relax in the nature and the horses and you when you spend a little bit more time in them uh, you can find a you can find a way to talk to them so i think the, the they are the reason uh, that, they, uh, that's what i want to do when i finish my career and uh, that's what i want to uh, be around my whole life probably you know and i want my kids be around if I have more kids around the horses, uh, just because uh, it's a pure love. You know, you can, uh, I always say you can fall in love with that and you cannot fall, like you can love that and you can, you can, you cannot pretend. So that's why I, I really enjoy being around them. And uh, I like the smell of them. I like the, especially the best feeling ever is when, when you, uh, when you, when you feed them and that, uh, that uh, sound of how they're eating in the stable is probably the best best sound you can ever you can ever uh, hear so we just something that uh, i think the horseman can can uh, can just feel it joel rush forbes hey nicola congratulations good to see you um yesterday bones mentioned that you were grinding like you were gunning for another mvp and you mentioned the shortened off season and what fed into your decision to return to Denver as early as you did and start getting back to work? Uh, Natalia, we cannot travel uh, when she's in, she's at uh, the end of the, what's the name? They do whatever, pregnancy, so that she cannot travel the last, I don't know, month probably, so that's why we came so early. And about, I mean, of course, brother, they're gonna say good things about me. They're not gonna say that I'm whatever. Of course, he's my teammate, so hopefully, hopefully, uh, he's gonna say good things about me. Harris Win DNVR. Hey, Nicola. I, I guess you getting back into town early allowed you to do a lot of workouts at Red Rocks. Are, are you a fan of of the Red Rocks workout? I don't know. Do I hate it or do I love it, brother? It's a, it's a, it's a complicated relationship between me and and Red Rocks. You know, I think it's a really you know whenever it's different and something is different, you know, you you we are not usually go to Red Rocks. Uh, we we went three or four times to Red Rocks. You know, it's a, it's a fun thing that you're doing something that new, uh, something that you didn't, didn't done before. And of course, it's a really, uh, it's a different workout. So it's not something that you're comfortable, it puts you in a not comfort zone, puts you out of the comfort zone. So, you know, uh, whatever, your body and lungs, your, your body is not uh, uh, prepared to that. So it's uh, kind of different, hit you different, you know. Chris Dempsey, Altitude Sports. Hey, Nicola, um, you know, the, the, the organization was busy bringing back pretty much everybody from from last season uh, to to go forward. And I'm just wondering uh, what your thoughts are on that. How, how pleased are you that you guys will have the, the general same core of players going forward? 
I mean, of course, Jamal, we're going to miss Jamal. Uh, he's a big part of this team. He's, uh, he's, uh, we know how he can play. Um, and he had a really good night and he's always there to su support the team. Um, I think everybody's going to miss him. You know, he's putting a lot of pressure on himself on the court so everybody else is open. So we're going to miss him, of course. But yeah, everybody, everybody's, uh, everybody's uh, uh, is getting back. We're going to have pretty much the same team, the core. Uh, Maybe we'll see. No, I, think, I never, I never, I don't even want to talk about the teams and the trades, whatever. So I think everybody have the, if everybody do their job, I think the 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 house is gonna be calm, you know. So I'm I'm just, I'm just trying to be ready for the next season, and that's my job. Chris Marlow, Altitude Sports. <laughs> Hello, Nicola. Uh, Last season, you were able to really improve your three-point shooting, going from just under 32 up to almost 39. I'm wondering, is there one particular individual skill this season that you would like to improve? Uh, I don't know. Is it? Uh, I mean, last year, I think I, I shoot this. I, I mean, depends. You know, I think the, the, the Nuggets drafted me. I was shooting the. 22% from the three-point line, you know, and uh, on the workouts, I think where they saw me, when they saw me uh, in uh, uh, Portland, Michael Samet, six, seven years ago, I couldn't miss, I literally couldn't miss. So, you know, it's, uh, we, we will see what have, what will happen then this year. Maybe I'm going to have a divorce season of my life. So we never know that, you know, maybe, I'll have, uh, maybe I'm going to have the better, the better season than last year. So, you know, I think it's something that uh, you can control, but of course, it's not just you. It's uh, all other nine players on the court too. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Nicola. Uh, I know you said the off season was short, uh, but at least you got time to spend with your horses. So where are you mentally um, going into this season? Are, are you tired because the off season was short? Are you hungry? Are you eager to win another MVP? Where's your head at? I don't want to tell you, brother, where is my head at? It's, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, our Brazilian, our Brazilians have a really good, I think, quote, one, one, one step. Uh, below the sky, one step uh, above the ground, you're good. That's something like that. So, Felipe can, can tell you that, but there is some kind of quote. So, between life and death, brother, right there. Jacob Toby, Nine News. Yeah, Nicole, you talked about sort of maybe resting more this season. Obviously, you didn't play in the Olympics, and it's it's interesting. I actually ran into a random person over the summer from Serbia, and they were sort of disappointed that you weren't there. Did you get a lot of that when you went back home, and, and do you think you made the right de decision by not playing? We're not playing. The Olympics? We, we didn't play Olympics, brother. We didn't qualify. qualify. In, the, in the preliminary ones, or no? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I made a decision, so I'm gonna. If it's good, if it's bad, I'm gonna stick to it. So uh, I wouldn't change it if I have a, if I if I can play again because I made a made a decision. Mark Kisla, Denver Post. Yeah, you mentioned Jamal and that you're gonna miss him, man, and he's putting pressure on himself to get back. Given how key he is to this team, what's your championships hopes this year for this team do you think you're a championship contender on this with this team this group uh, you never know really yes of course uh, if uh, if if everybody buys in and everybody played the right way uh, there is a chance of course I'd say uh, do we have enough talent I don't know are we the best team in, in, uh, on the NBA I don't know so uh, we will see. You know, the season is gonna is gonna show show us everything. Uh, I have the goal for the season, I, you know, <laughs> I I don't know even the goal for the season. So of course everybody's say a championship. That's that's what we are saying the last seven years. You know, so 
I'm not. I'm not going to say championship because uh, you know we, that's just our imagination or just something that we want to do. Of course, we want to win championship, but you can. You need to. There is another a lot of uh, like boxes you need to check to 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 to, to make that. All right, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Spencer Campbell from 5280. Sorry, I was a little bit late to the party, so I'm sorry if you answered this. Um, but now that you're the MVP, are you hoping that that raises your profile, your celebrity status a little bit? Or do you like being a mystery off the court and sort of unknown? And is that why you don't have any social media? I don't want to know. Uh, I'm just gonna. I mean, uh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to just to raise my whatever uh, celebrity status, whatever you <laughs> whatever you said. You know, I think you 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 can uh, control that in uh, in some kind of way. You know, you can you like. Well, I don't have social media. I don't have nothing. So. I don't think I'm the mystery, you know, so because I'm, I'm a person like you, so uh, it's not really fun being a celebrity, I think. It's just because uh, I, have a, I have my needs and I have my uh, things that I like to do. So, and uh, if, if you just imagine that you do the, something that you'd like to do the most and then someone's, someone is recording you or someone is like, you know, all people watching you and you just want to be your, uh, by yourself alone, I mean, you know, I, I will. I would rather nobody knows me than everybody knows me. So it's much better to nobody knows me. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Nicola. My pleasure, guys. Like always. <laughs>